Hey everyone, welcome back to another problem solving session. And this one we'll be solving uh, a capital budgeting issue uh, where we've given you the internal rate of return, we've given you the length of the project, we've given you the initial investment, bunch of information, but there are some key elements missing. Namely, the cash flows in years five and six, which are unknown. So you're told that in the first three years you have $3,000 uh, per year in cash flows, but you don't know those last two. So it's up to us to figure out what they are so that we can use that information to find the net present value. So in the first part of the video, you'll see me set up my net present value calculation where I discount all the cash flows, including the two unknowns by setting them as X, but I'll set the net present value equal to zero. And the reason I do that is because I'm using the internal rate of return as the discount rate. And we know that if the discount rate is the internal rate of return, then the net present value is zero. So you'll see me work through the algebra to figure out what those two unknown payments are. So watch this. Now over here in the algebra, for those who are not that comfortable with it, what I've done is I've taken the two denominators, 1.14 to the five, 1.14 to the six, and I've brought them up, made their exponents negative. That way I can just punch that into my calculator and you'll see in the next part of the video that I do that, I punch it into the calculator and I end up with uh, a decimal number. So now that I've simplified it, I've gone ahead and added together the first part of my algebra, which was the 8,741. I've subtracted from it the 16,000 at the end to get that negative 7,258.86. And now I'll finish the algebra by solving for X. So we see here that those two unknown values in years five and six are actually $7,445. Now that I have that information, the question is basically solved. We're going to punch this into either the formula or your financial calculator. I'm going to show both ways to calculate your net present value, but this time using the actual discount rate, which is 10%. Watch this. So we can see that the net present value is actually $2,335. In this next part, I'll show you how to enter it into your financial calculator for those of you that are using the cash flow function on your BA2+. So to do it on the financial calculator, since we know all of our cash flows, we're gonna start by entering our cash flow at time zero as negative 16,000, then arrow down, enter 3,000 as our next cash flow with a frequency of four. So 3,000, enter down, four, enter down, all right, those are the keystrokes. Then we go down again, 7,445 with a frequency of two. Then you'll press the net present value button, set your discount rate to 10%, enter, arrow down, compute, and you'll have your net present value of the same thing, 2,335. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please leave a comment uh, asking any questions you may have. Give me a thumbs up, uh, just say hi, but make sure you subscribe to the page and I'll see you at the next video.